Hey peoples, and welcome to this episode of the Zenith Update. Not a huge amount of things to talk about this episode, so without further ado, here's the timestamps of all the relevant information. It's also in the description below. So moving on to number the first, Splatterhouse. Jennifer smells of rot. Those of you already familiar with the channel will hopefully have already watched episode one of Splatterhouse, Jennifer smells of rot, which released last Halloween. Splatterhouse, S H J S O R, J S O R. Last Halloween, yeah, get back on track. That's going to be a rolling theme. I'm going to release a new episode every Halloween for about the next five years, I think. I think it's going to be five episodes. So this Halloween will be episode two. I am about two thirds of the way through editing it. I've already shown work in progress footage to my patrons and to a few confidants, and they have come back to me with positive feedback. So it's all looking great and it's all being on track. I really hope, I know I'm terrible with keeping my promises on when things are supposed to release, but I'm definitely gonna try, definitely going to try to, <laughs> to hit it. But because I don't want to leave you guys empty handed, here's a few stills from the upcoming episode two of Splatterhouse, J-S-O-R. Number the second episode. Those of you familiar with the channel will hopefully have already seen the short film version of Episode, which released in 2012. The feature length version is a different beast, featuring the same main characters, FBI Special Agent King and Ramona, but rather than protagonist and antagonist, now they work together, kind of like Mulder and Scully, as they solve bizarre cases in a city known only as the Derelict. So far, I have cut the introduction to this new feature film and about halfway through scene one. Now the intro, I have got to work with one of my favorite YouTubers, Thor High Heels, who also goes by the name Adolf Nomura when he's making his music. Now, during one of his videos, he makes his own music for the backgrounds and I heard one track and I was like, oh, that's awesome. I really would love to use that. So I contacted him if I could use that piece of music for a different project. Now, when I was putting together the intro for episode, I just wanted some music underneath just so I could get kind of idea for pacing. So I used that track and it just fit just perfectly. Like I designed it to work with that piece of music, even though I hadn't. So I put it together and sent it to him and said, do you mind if I use it for this as well? And he was like, that works really well. That's awesome. And I had to agree. I've shown it to some other people as well and my patrons and they all agree it's looking really lush. So in the words of Microsoft Xbox press conferences. This is the world premiere. As I'm going to show you the intro to the feature length version of episode. Enjoy.
Number the third, the last of the perk gifts for Silent Hill Requiem, which could basically look like my first graphic novel. I mean, look how fucking thick it is. <laughs> so this is the storyboard book for Silent Hill Requiem, which was a stretch goal perk gift for the initial Indiegogo way back when. So I had these printed up recently. It took a while to get here because of the whole COVID thing. But as you can see, it's looking rather lush. Now, I'm no artist, but I do try to put a little bit more effort in my storyboards than most. And in terms of the print quality, I'm really, really impressed. So I've had four of these printed up so far, and they will be going, well, once they've got my Johnny Hancock on, they will be going to the people that donated for them. And just on the off chance that any of you would like a copy of this, I'm gonna add it to the donations page on my website. So anyone who wants to get themselves a copy of this, any money this book raises will go into the kitty for the budget of Silent Hill Lazarus. And in regards to the poster, it has been signed by Owen and myself, and at current time of recording, I have yet to be able to get hold of Sam Swainsby to get his autograph on it. So if by the time this video goes up, I still haven't heard from him, I will be sending the posters out with mine and Owen's signature on them, as that is the best I can do. I hope you can forgive me for that one. And one last thing to do is a shout out for my current patrons over on Patreon. Amy Ballot, Gideon Martinez, Paul Dulski, Sylvia Garcia and Jason S. Perry. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. It means the world to me and my team. And that brings this episode of the Zenith Update to a close. So it just leaves me to say, I hope you're all staying safe during these troubling times. And as always, all the best.